the entire history of Trinidad and Tobago, part two. After the British captured Trinidad from Spain in 1797, 10 years later, the slave trade is abolished by Britain. In 1816, the Americans came from the southern U.S. to Trinidad as free settlers and are granted land. In 1838, the official end of slavery in Trinidad is said to have taken place. 1845 saw the beginning of East Indian indentureship with the arrival of the Fatal Razak from Calcutta. 1881, the Cambulay riots occur in Port of Spain, San Fernando and Princess Town by the former enslaved against cultural suppression of carnival celebrations. Reenactments are still done today around carnival time. 1898, Tobago went broke and in debt and became a ward of Trinidad. 1902 saw the arrival of the Syrians and Lebanese. 1903, the Red House is destroyed by fire during the water riots. 1917 saw the end of East Indian indentureship. In 1930, Jews fleeing Nazi persecution in Europe arrive in Trinidad. 1937 saw the death of one Charlie King by mob during the labor riots led by Uriah Buzz Butler. He was jailed on Nelson Island. In 1939, Jews in Trinidad were deemed enemy aliens and were rounded up and sent to Nelson Island as well. In 1940, we saw the arrival of Americans establishing military bases in Trinidad during World War II. 1945, Uriah Buzz Butler is released from Nelson Island and the Americans withdraw their bases at the end of the war. In 1958, Trinidad joins the West Indies Federation and four years later, in 1962, leaves it. The same year, Trinidad gains independence from Britain, becoming its own republic. The rest, as they say, is history. Thanks for watching. There's a lot more to cover since TNT gained its independence, but those are stories for their own videos. So follow and stay tuned, let's celebrate Trinbago history together.